My guess is that it will reach unprecedented heights never before seen. Holy cow. Very well. Wow, that's important. Yeah, that's a huge change. In my opinion, that is what transpired. Personally, I think that's the prize here. For quite some time, I have been keeping tabs on one particular chart. It has been, you know, we're into the peak performance season for this. Typically, when the ISM begins to gain up steam, the liquidity season and altcoin season begin, and Ethereum tends to outperform during this period. Known as the banana zone. We are now in that zone. It begins this year, but next year it really takes off. Returning to 2020, ETH began by basing, then began to outperform beginning in the summer, and then began to pick up speed towards the conclusion of the year. After that, it turned ETH-tastic by 2021. It entered its banana zone state. Something similar will probably happen. Real Vision and global macro investor founder and CEO Raul Pal has revealed his revised price forecast for Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Solana. After Bitcoin's recent all-time high of $69,000, Powell predicts a 2 to 3x boom for the cryptocurrency. Praising Ethereum as a tried and true system, he has much more optimistic forecasts for Solana, seeing a 47x gain from the lows of the last cycle and a possible range of $750 to $11,000 per coin for the native token of the Solana blockchain platform. Ethereum is another platform that Powell is bullish on believe that by the time the bull market ends in 2025, its price will have comfortably surpassed previous record highs. Powell thinks his forecasts are reasonable, but he does recognize the need to be cautious owing to economic uncertainties and unpredictable macro circumstances. Based on his analysis of previous bull markets, he is certain that the Bitcoin market will remain stable. The continuation of quantitative easing measures is crucial to Powell's positive thesis for a robust cryptocurrency bull market. More cowbell as he so comically puts it. In order to maintain the status quo of the financial system, Powell claims that central banks have consistently printed more money since the global financial crisis of 2008. Powell is of the firm belief that the Bitcoin business as a whole will have exceptionally prosperous times over the next 12 to 18 months given this context. The ex-Goldman. Sachs executive recently spoke with Crypto Banter, where he discussed his thoughts on the future of Solana and Ethereum, as well as his price projections for both. In my opinion, there is still some chop. On the other hand, I anticipate a price breakout for Sol ETH later in the year. In my opinion, it will go much higher. Yet again, accordingly, I believe Sol will achieve twice as much performance as ETH. The use and fire dancer are the main factors that drive that. When we last looked at ETH, NFTs were the main attraction. Forget it. Early stage uses are use. These mean coins are similar to NFTs in that they are a testing ground for. New technologies where they may be used to determine the product's market fit and how to stress test it. Initiating the social token concept that I've been discussing for a while seems to be what we're doing here. Do you think we'll succeed this time? We didn't get all the way there, just like with NFTs before. Community tokens and ways to participate in cultural communities while also benefiting from community service are just the beginning of what's to come. That being said, I consider it to be a major event. Similar to the initial round of NFTs, the vast majority of them will be worthless, but you can still enjoy yourself while you wait. I am thus in no way passing judgment on it. People know full well the dangers they're putting themselves in for. From a distance, it appears to be demonstrating that Solana is capable of efficiently and affordably handling transactions of this nature. Plus, it demonstrates that there. This is a method to tokenize culture that suits online culture. That's just how cultures work, isn't it? Important things wind up being NFTs. For that, it simply works better. To be sure, NFTs will eventually be used for tickets and a whole lot more. The technology is only beginning. Something distinct is a meme. When compared. To non-fungible, it's fungible. Ultimately, there are various applications, but cultural shifts usually spark new movements, don't they? It initiated NFTs. It all began with coins. This whole cultural shift is just one big thing. Most likely, 90% of the current mean coin holders were NFT holders previously. Keep in mind that. Doing NFTs on Solana would cost you little to nothing. Therefore, this is not the end of NFTs. A meme coin like non-fungible token representing a piece of art or any other culturally significant item will inevitably be invented by someone and made available to the public at no cost. It is still there. The market simply receives a fixed amount of focus. Very well. Are you also in possession of meme coins? Yeah, Whiff and Bonk are my two most significant bets, and they are both equally weighted. Also, I've spent some time in those. 
I hold on to a small amount of Doge because I haven't given up hope that Elon will eventually accomplish something with it. Is that all I have? Those are all I have. It's done. Additionally, all I do is compare each chart to the others. To help me decide out which way to go, I look at Bonk VS, other memes and whiff, versus other memes as well as the Bonk whiff chart. The really early stuff isn't my thing. My schedule is too full. There is no way I can visit pump.com right now. I figured out what's going to move by using pump.fun. No one has any idea what's going on here. All of this is conjecture. When will this cultural fad become? Relevant again, does my persona as Caitlyn Jenner have any lasting significance? I'm playing that game. I thought it was the reason behind the Bowdoin and the Tramp and everything. Is the persistence of a meme possible? So long as everyone is aware that we are betting on raindrops falling on windows, I don't see an issue. Since we are all fallible mortals, we wager on it. Even though some of these memes only last for a day or two, others can go on for centuries. Americans spend $110 billion annually on lottery tickets, so long as everyone is smiling like the one you're wearing right now when you're laughing at the silliness. I love this space and realizing that all we're doing is speculating, that all we're doing is going to Vegas, but with slightly better odds. The mean coin casino, though, has greater odds. Therefore, I also assume that this is just preliminary testing of the idea behind what's happening. Are going to emerge from this? Locate. An iconic meme. So we have the girl staring back at the house in flames. Yes, that became an NFT in the localization process. But suppose you might contribute to the success of the meme you've discovered, for example. You might go to a bar and hear a band that you think is fantastic the band goes on to become. Hold play. It's the same exhilaration as when you find something groundbreaking and it goes viral. When you find a new band, you don't get to monetarily contribute this way you can. Would you say this is the meme of the future? This? Game is accessible to all. Are we not risking the emergence of another lunar scenario if this thing gets too huge, even though it is essentially founded on nothing more than the sentiments of memes? Sure and no. As I've already mentioned, 99% of these will collapse, just like the NFT issue. This is common knowledge. Offsides will still catch them. Everything will remain the same. People will be furious. They will blame whoever informed them online, the last person to purchase the meme before it went down, and the event will be a disaster. Still, this stuff has some worth. Value exists because Doge and Shiba have established it. Two or three of them will remain, and the meme will continue to generate value. Therefore, we are unsure of what will generate value. In my opinion, it will all eventually equal zero. Rest assured, it will not. Definitely not. The thing is, I have no idea what those will be. Even so, I fail to perceive that as a moon moment. It's an inherent aspect of cryptography. The cryptocurrency market experiences a 90% decline every four years. Where will the next exchange-traded fund ETF go live? It ought to be Doge if the area maintains its shape. 